Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the August 2019 horoscope for Scorpio. And as I am shuffling the cards, I will go through the list of transits. And the cards that I will be using are the Barbary Zodiac Oracle deck, the Rider Tarot deck, the Connolly Tarot deck, as well as playing cards. So let me just show you. I already have some cards out and these will be a sneak peek at the month of September. So I will go over these in the end. Now starting on August 1st, we have a new moon in Leo. Which creates a doorway for true happiness and authenticity. We're also coming off of Mercury coming direct very late on July 31st. Now Mercury is still, will still be in pre-shadow. And so it'll still sort of be in this review period where anything that was not addressed or faced during Mercury retrograde will come to the surface. Then the moon will move into Virgo, where we will feel overall more grounded and more practical. You may find yourself wanting to clean up around the house or wanting to get into a routine that improves or benefits your life in some way. Then we move into the moon and Libra which will put you in a place of wanting to feel balance and harmony in your life. So you may find yourself making compromises, trying to relate to others, trying to find balance especially emotional balance within your own life. Then the moon will move into Scorpio. And this is the moon's fall in position. And this will bring up fears, insecurities, deeper feelings, things that we tend not to face or to stuff down inside of us. A lot of these feelings and passions and desires will come to the surface and these will be things that you will need to face. Then the moon will move into Sagittarius where there will be a higher sense of knowledge and understanding. You may find yourself trying to seek out the truth or the true meaning of life. Trying to raise your level of consciousness at this time. Then on August 11th, we have a few things that happen. Jupiter comes direct. 
So for those of you who did not know, Jupiter has been retrograde in its home sign of Sagittarius, where we have been in sort of this observational mode, really kind of visualizing and seeing where we want our life to go and what kind of abundance we want to bring into our lives. Now, when Jupiter comes direct, that is when all of this comes in to direct motion. And you will see a lot of challenges and lessons and blessings coming into your life at that time. Then on the same day, we have Mercury entering Leo. And again, right now, Mercury is retrograde in Cancer. And it comes direct on very late on July 31st. So we start off the month with Mercury Station Direct. It is still in pre-shadow. It does not come out of pre-shadow until the 15th. Now on the 11th of August though, Mercury does move in to Leo. So this does change our communication style as our communication was more sensitive, emotional, empathetic, and cancer. And it will be more bold, more outspoken, We'll find ourselves speaking straight from the heart as it moves into Leo. Also, on the same day, Uranus stations retrograde. And Uranus is dealing with liberation, breakthrough, freedom trying to take us to a higher state of being. And so it has been in Taurus for the majority of this year. And so this is a new generational revolution that we are going through with Uranus and Taurus. This is Positioning Uranus in its fallen position. Uranus does fall in Taurus. Which has a lot to do with Taurus dealing with comfort, safety, stability, consistency. Where Uranus is a planet that creates change. It is a planet of freedom, of evolution. Of liberation, of rebellion. And so Uranus and Taurus has really hit on our level of comfort or level of safety, what makes us feel stable, secure, what we value. A lot of that has been questioned with this Uranus in Taurus. It is really taking us out of these old values, these old systems These old things in our lives that made us feel comfortable at one time. We're finding that a lot of it does not serve us anymore. And so when Uranus goes retrograde, 
This will be the same theme. The difference is that when Uranus goes retrograde, this will kind of be like the tower moment. This will be chaos destruction. As Uranus elevates us and frees us from old values and old things that made us feel comfortable. It will start to remove these old values, these old structures from our lives. And Uranus in direct motion is where we are shown these old structures that need to change. And so that is where we're given the chance to make those changes. Now when it goes retrograde, there's not really a choice anymore because it will start to destroy. Uranus in retrograde becomes destruction, chaos, rebellion. This is where it will destroy these old foundations from underneath you. And so if you are not making the necessary changes to free yourself from these old values that no longer serve you, then you may find yourself going through a tower moment when Uranus in retrograde comes. Another thing that Uranus in retrograde brings a lot of the time is confusion. Uranus in retrograde can tend to not give us the answers that we are looking for. It can tend to put us in a time where things do not work out in our favor and we feel lost or confused. Then the moon goes into Capricorn where the moon is in detriment we can tend to feel detached and overly serious. Now, the positive side of this moon in Capricorn is that it gives us the drive, the ambition to achieve and accomplish our goals. And then following that, On August 15th, there will be a full moon in Aquarius. And this full moon will be very powerful, especially with having Uranus retrograde. We can tend to feel lost or confused or like we're not really getting the results or the answers that we're looking for. Now this full moon in Aquarius will give you unexpected breakthroughs and it will give you the answers and the information that you are seeking to help elevate you in your life. So this is a moon that is bringing great clarity into your life. And then following that, we will have the moon in Pisces, which can bring some confusion. It can make us feel a little bit lost, especially when we try to use logic or we overanalyze things, get too caught up in the details. That is where the confusion comes in with this moon in Pisces. And so with the moon in Pisces, it'll be a great time to go with your feelings 
and to really look towards your intuition really trust in your intuition that is what will guide you that is what will give you the understanding and make sense of what is actually going on at that point in time now on august 18th mars enters virgo and this is great energy for getting things done meeting deadlines following routines this gives you the passion and the energy and the direction to really work hard and to follow patterns or routines that can help benefit you So this will help your overall growth. And then on August 19th, the very next day, Jupiter makes aspects with Saturn. And this is sort of the reality check for you. This is with this Jupiter in Sagittarius and Neptune in Pisces energy, we tend to have these high hopes, these big dreams. Right? We tend to look at the big picture and miss out on the key details. And so Saturn will be the reality check for you to show you if these dreams or visions that you have for yourself are truly realistic and attainable. And then following that, the moon moves into Aries where we will feel more lively, more excited, ready to go. You may find yourself wanting to initiate or start something new. Or you may find yourself simply wanting to be active and wanting to be more involved. And on August 21st, Venus enters Virgo. And this is a challenging position. This is the fallen position from Venus. Venus falls in Virgo. Because Virgo reminds us of reality. It brings us back down to Earth where we have responsibilities. We have work to be done. Where Venus elevates us to this place of love, imagination, positivity. And so... With this Venus in Virgo, you want to be cautious especially in relationships of being overly critical, of overanalyzing the situation, of being too serious. Now, the positive side of this is the ability to work on and improve on the areas that need work within your relationships. Following that, the moon moves into Taurus, where it is exalted. And this is where we will feel very safe, very comfortable. And on August 23rd, 
Virgo season begins. So the sun will move into Virgo and this will change the way that we consciously see things and the way that we behave. This changes the overall energy from being Leo, very lively, exciting, fun, adventurous, to Virgo being very responsible, practical, grounded. And so we will be faced with responsibilities. We will be faced with the work that needs to be done, the improvements that need to be made. And following this, the moon moves into Gemini where things become more busy. The mind tends to have a lot of chatter. We tend to be more social. There's this curiosity, this desire to learn and experience new things within our familiar surroundings. And then the moon moves into Cancer where it is at home. This is where we will be more emotional, more sensitive, more empathetic. And following that, the moon moves into Leo where our emotions will be put on stage. You may find yourself being more comfortable in expressing your feelings, more bold in expressing your feelings. This makes us feel more adventurous, more lively, more excited. And there's a flair for drama. And ending the month of August, we have a new moon in Virgo on August 30th. This new moon is a gateway or a portal, an access point to being more responsible, to following new routines and new habits that help improve and benefit our lives overall. And so that is the month of August. The month of August is not as intense as the month of July with the eclipses and Mercury and retrograde on top of that that we had to go through. The month of August will be much more laid back and easygoing, which should give you a great opportunity to work in the areas of your life that you need to improve in. As we went through the eclipse season and Mercury and retrograde on top of it, we went through a review period where the things that we needed to work on came up and were revealed to us through that review period. And in that time, we were in a time of self-reflection. And now that we are coming out of that, in the month of August, it is time to do the necessary work that needs to be done. Now the sun is in reverse and we see this happen twice. So we'll talk more about this later on, but with the sun reverse, there is this feeling of needing to improve overall happiness. And joy in your life. Scorpio, for a lot of you, this feels as though you are seeking a happier place in your life. So let's go more into this. And we have judgment in reverse. So a lot of this does have to do with the past. A lot of this has to do with 
what you have gone through, what you have been through, a lot of you are closing a door on past experiences. And that is where this quest for happiness, for joy, is coming from. A lot of you are going through a transformation where you are moving into a new direction in your life, closing the door on that old chapter. And we see that here with the Ten of Wands, where you are no longer acting on things that do not serve you. This is the release point. A lot of you are taking action to end old things in your life. Now, some of you are not speaking your truth in a way that it is nurturing you, a lot of you. This is dealing with your thoughts. This is dealing with your words, with your truth. And it feels as though a lot of you are not getting your needs met or are not fully nurturing, taking care of yourself in terms of having positive thoughts, speaking your truth. This is the area where I am feeling a lack or deficiency of for a lot of you. And the world is in reverse. So again, that quest for happiness, for an ending, a completion. This has a lot to do with this lack of speech. For a lot of you, it's a lack of speech. A lot of you not speaking, expressing your truth. Which is closing the door on many possibilities in your life. And when you work on improving in this area, this leads to overall happiness and fulfillment. The word that comes to me is commitment. For a lot of you, you find happiness and completion in the commitment. So whether this is a relationship, a job, at home, financial. This could be any part of your life. The joy, the happiness, the completion is found in the commitment. Now the emperor is here. And this is a lot of you looking to accept your personal power. A lot of you know who you are and you know your personal power. And so this is calling you to take action, to walk in this power. To be who you know that you are. And a lot of the Scorpios watching this know exactly what this means. 
personally for you. Because right now, this is you blocking your success. This is you yearning and longing for that. And this feels very, very similar to having that sun reversed is this yearning for this happiness, this joy, this positivity. And this comes in being the emperor. This comes in, in being in your personal power. For a lot of you. And a lot of you are avoiding this. King of Cups. And for some of you, this could be dealing with a water sign. Especially one of strong male energy. Could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But for a lot of you, for a lot of you this is you. A lot of you are not facing or mastering your emotions. And this can go both way, both ways. For some of you, this is not expressing those feelings. For some of you, it's actually expressing those feelings in a harsh way. And so this attitude towards how these, ex how these emotions become expressed needs to change for a lot of you. A lot of you need to master your feelings. And when you do, this does come to completion. You do get the abundance that you're looking for. The Ten of Cups. This happiness, this success. This success is at the end of this journey, this process that you're going through. Now, Scorpio, this is the second time we're seeing the sun in reverse. And so, again, there is this message that wants to repeat itself to you about you stepping into your personal power, about you expressing your feelings and about you finding that happiness and that joy in the commitment.
and fires here, so I know you're passionate. Again, this goes back to that Emperor card. You know your own power. You know you're passionate. It's there. But a lot of you are not standing in it. Again, Aquarius is here. The uniqueness, the ability to walk in your own strength, to walk your own path, to be you. That's what this Emperor card is about. To be you. And in that, you find this freedom this independence this strength to speak your truth to walk in your truth, to be your truth And it's because a lot of you need to connect from your heart space. This is expressing your feelings. Three of hearts all day will be about expressing your feelings. This is where a lot of you Scorpios out there need to be and this benefits your physical plans those plans to have that happiness, that joy overall. And that is right here. Again, we end with that ability to be free, to be independent, to be in your power, that carefree nature of the Joker And it comes from this physical ability to be positive, to come from your place of personal power, that joy, that happiness that you're seeking, that's inside of you, that sun energy's inside of you. Now let's take a look at the preview for September. And we start with Leo. So it does feel like a lot of you taking leadership or influencing others with you standing in your truth. A lot of you Scorpios out there got the message. You get it. You understand it. You have taken this month of August to learn something. A lot of you Scorpios out there. This is very, very powerful. 
feel a lot of you walking and standing in this power. And even expressing your feelings. The moon is here. A lot of you very, very in tune with your feelings. Very comfortable. Cancer's here. Very, very comfortable in expressing your feelings. In getting your needs met. A lot of you. Very, very powerful. See a lot of you learning very quickly in the month of August. It's very, very powerful. And it's right here, the discipline, Saturn. Taking on that challenge and learning the discipline in it. It's just so powerful. A lot of you Scorpios will learn And again, we see the same message with this freedom, this liberation at the end of it. And it's so funny that it comes in Saturn, the form of commitment. This freedom, this independence, this joy, this happiness this sun energy inside of you. So September, for a lot of you Scorpios, will be a very, very powerful month. If you take these tools and you learn See a lot of you succeeding. So that was your August twenty nineteen horoscope. as well as a preview of September 2019. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a comment if this helped you or resonated with you in any way. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. And I hope you all have a great day.